In terms of mental health, studies show that participating in youth sports is associated with lower rates of anxiety and depression, lower amounts of stress, higher self-esteem and confidence. Women must stop. Inclusion cannot be prioritized over safety and fairness. And Ranking Member Lee, if my testimony makes me transphobic, then I believe your opening monologue makes you a misogynist. Thank you. Thank you, Riley Gaines, for Sydney's hamburger heifer straight. This video, video is brought to you by Ground.News. Ground.News, we'll talk about that in a second. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to so get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, why is it that the first thing that came to my mind is that why are black people got to be at the forefront of stupidity? And always on the wrong side of issues. I just, I, I, I don't understand why. How is it that we're arguing as a nation whether me, biological men who, whether they transition or identify, whatever, why are we arguing if they can play in women's sports? There's a reason why it's called women's sports. It's because women are not the same as men. And if you were born as a man, you're still a man, even though you identify as a woman. It's fine. People can accept it. People can call you a woman. It don't matter. Biologically, you're still a man. Why are we still arguing about this in America? Why? Somebody explain to me why. The two dumbest people in the room, this black lady and the other black lady you're here talking, literally says the stupidest things in the world, and it takes uh, uh, um, Riley Gaines to set the record straight. Now, let's roll a clip and, and listen to these nuts. Roll a clip. ...are threatened by the participation. Ms. Gossgraves, is there any reason to believe that allowing transgender young people to participate in sports threatens women's privacy or employment or economic opportunities? None of those things are threatened by the participation of transgender individuals. Hold on, let's go back, let's go back. Ms. Gossgraves, is there any reason to believe that allowing transgender young people to participate in sports threatens women's privacy or employment or economic opportunities? Now, how the f do you say that that doesn't threaten their economic opportunities, employment, or privacy? If you have a dude in a locker room observing, viewing naked women, that's violating their privacy. A dude going to the locker room, pull his genitals out. That's a violation of female privacy. And you think it's not going to stop them from having opportunities and employment? If, if the number one, the fastest person in track and field is a biological man transitioning to a woman, the second and third place don't make the same money. They don't get the same opportunities. You name it. And listen to what this fool said. None of those things are threatened by the participation of transgender individuals in sports. Thank Dumbest you. people in, fact, in the room. Isn't there a risk that banning transgender athletes could lead to privacy violations, either through requiring documentation or invasive examinations? I, that it, there is a deep worry there, and some states have passed that sort of sex verification law, which would subject all women and girls to those sorts of examinations. And how is that a problem? I think biological women don't mind admitting or acknowledging or proving by birth certificate that they're biological women. This video is brought to you by ground.news, ground.news. I think it's absolutely invaluable to understand how these messages get out here and where you can find facts because you could go on the internet and you can't find this anywhere. Except if you go to Ground News, they got at least three articles written and all three articles that were written about this is present right here. And you can see Who's reporting on it? Right wing. It tells you right here, which is why I love ground.news, because you can pick all. You can see who's talking about it on the left, which is nobody. You can see who's talking about it in the center, and you can see who's talking about it on outlets. They're all right leaning. And you can see right there, uh, Republicans, 67% are right leaning or conservative. You can see factuality there. You can also see ownership. Ownership is 100% independent. Mainstream media do not want to talk about this. And this is why I love Ground.News. They give you a quick summary right here, and then you go down and you can see all the articles presented. You can click on them if you want to. You can see what they are when it comes to right-leaning or left-leaning. Also, I want you guys to not forget the blind spot. This is a, an incredible part of what Ground.News does is it finds the blind spot for the right and the left. These are articles that right wing or right leaning people should be looking out for because these are things that Democrats are reporting on that we are not reporting or have knowledge of 
in, in, a, in a larger scale. Same thing for the left. The left is not reporting on none of these things, and these are things that the people on the right are reporting on that all people should know about. And you can create your own custom timeline. If you have certain things that you're interested in, you can put it on the timeline and watch it uh, until your eyes fall out. Make sure you go to ground.news forward slash Tatum. That's ground.news forward slash Tatum. The link is in the description section to get 30% off. This deal only lasts to December the 11th. So make sure you get it now. 30% off your full access account or membership if you use my link. Ms. Scott's Grace, what should we actually focus on if we want to protect opportunities for women in sports? There is an opportunity right now to promote further resources to address sexual abuse that is happening in sports, to provide the sort of resources that mean more kids have an opportunity to play, and to advocate for that what? the Biden administration finalize this rule that has been waiting for so long. That's where we are. She said a bunch of nothing. We've seen these same misguided arguments before, rooted in false stereotypes. When athletes of color try to and try to integrate white sports leagues who are accused of taking away opportunities from white athletes, black women in sports, whether they are cis, trans or intersex, constantly encounter shifting roles and expectations as a reprimand for their success. You know how stupid she sounds. The fastest woman, Jackie Jonah cursing, the fa fastest woman in the world in world history is, is black. All the women that's winning is black. From Jamaica, from America, what 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 obstacles are black people facing in sports? The greatest basketball players of all time, most of them are black. And I forget the lady's name, but she did get caught cheating. And then the young girl that just won recently, she was smoking weed. What are y'all even talking about? Obstructing black? It's it's just why are we so stupid? I don't get it, man. Why are black people so subject to stupidity? It's like per, per capita, we say the stupidest stuff in America. We are always on the wrong side. We're on the wrong side of the parties, and we're on the wrong side of knowledge. We cannot stand up for women. We don't stand up for God. We don't stand up for marriage. we always on the wrong side. They are accused of doping or cheating in order to win. They were. Cruel remarks about their perceived femininity and create racist depictions of their physicality, all in attempts to discourage and exclude them from competing. <laughs> and ultimately, to keep them from winning. They were wrong then, and they're wrong now. I'm what does that have to do with trans? They always put the black struggle in with the trans struggle. The black struggle in with the gay struggle. If you notice, she had no real articulation about trans and gay. None of that. She had to go to black and then lied about that. I'm offended to see hatred and bigotry wrapped up in faux concerns about women and girls. We're talking about children wanting to play sports, wanting to feel included and accepted. I don't understand what they are going through or why they feel the way they do, but I want them to live. I yield back. <laughs> what? So if they don't play sports, they're not going to live harm to us. Who is working to minimize the harm done to female athletes? Let me be perfectly clear. A school that knowingly allows a male athlete to take a spot on a women's team or allows a male athlete to take the field in a women's game is denying a female student athletic opportunity. And that is sex-based discrimination and it violates Title IX. Facts. Regardless of what the new regulations might say. Facts. It is my sincere hope that members of this committee, committee will take action to stop the Biden administration's illegal and administrative rewrite of Title IX. Of course, there is a place for everyone, regardless of gender identity, regardless of sexual orientation, regardless of race or what sports you play, there's a place for everyone to play sports in this country. But unsafe, unfair, and discriminatory practices towards women must stop. Inclusion cannot be prioritized over safety and fairness. And Ranking Member Lee, if my tes testimony makes me transphobic, then I believe your opening monologue makes you a misogynist. Thank you. Thank you. Now she got the boo-boo face. Her daddy wasn't there. Somebody messed up because she's an idiot. Now listen to this. How is it, how in the, is, are women arguing with a woman about dudes playing women's sports? What, what is this? These are, a woman and two other women are advocating that men can dominate women's sports. Bro, it's very simple. If you trans, 
play in a trans category. I mean, I swear, God is my witness. I can go out right now, become a powerlifter, and I will win powerlifting as a woman. I just put a wig on and win. Why are they arguing with a woman about standing up for women's rights? That lady said everything, but what? how does it affect women? This is an actual woman who played college sports, who was dominant in her sport, who, who, who felt the wrath of a dude with his penis hanging out in a locker room posing as a woman in competition. She had personal experience, and not just her, but all of those women felt the same way she feel, and they don't want to hear none of it. I just, it bothers me, man. It just bothers me. And I hate that black people are the ones always on the wrong side of this too. And then the dumb white liberals are, are, are the worst. But black people are on the wrong side of this. Why, why is there not mostly black people saying, stand up for women's rights? You claim that black people were getting done and, and, and disenfranchised. Women are getting disenfranchised by biological men. All right, I'm out of here, man. I'm going to have a stroke. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out.